We're here at the 2019 Chicago Auto Show. Uh, we're supposed to hashtag CAS 2019. So hashtag CAS 2019. Let's see what trouble we can make. So you come to the Porsche booth for inspiration, right? Like maybe you had a Porsche or a Porsche or whatever you want to call it on the wall of your bedroom as a kid growing up, but now you can't get a 911 because you need room for the wife and kids or the husband and kids or, you know, 12 dogs or all your cats or whatever the case may be. Anyway, here's the new Porsche Cayenne, indistinguishable from the Macan. And to be truly aspirational, you can get in on this. This car here is, um, $86,000, doesn't even have leather seats. The word leather appears nowhere on the window sticker, and instead it has plastic seats, also known as vinyl, also known as leather, also known as if you're vegan and you want a Porsche, here's the option, it's only $86,000. Hurry up and buy. So here's the new Porsche Panamera, new I think for last year. Looks reasonable. It's a sports car for the family man behind it. We have the GTS that you can't see because there's a family man literally in the way. But like, that's the sporty version. It's here in red. I would like to know who at Porsche decided that the color to show the customers is burgundy. Nothing says sports car quite like burgundy or maroon or whatever old man should be on a Cadillac to no color. Yes. I'm disgusted. So here's the new Porsche Cayman. I like Caymans, a lot of people hate on it. It's a pretend 911, whatever. I really like Porsche Caymans. Here's what I don't like. How many letters can you stick on the back of the car? Calling it a Cayman wasn't enough. Calling it a Cayman GTS wasn't enough. 718's the body style, 718 Cayman GTS. Why don't we put a few more things on there? Why don't we put yellow? Yellow. 718 Cayman GTS. And then why don't we just start writing whatever? I remember back in the day when if you wanted a carbon fiber hood and shit on your Lexus, which I'm pretty sure is a car for mostly old men, though, you had to actually get one. But now it comes that way from the factory, right above the Mercedes AMG knockoff wheels that you would find on, for example, a Black Series or any other Mercedes AMG car. They stole the wheel, they stole the hood of a 1999 Civic hatchback, and here you go, the new Lexus, whatever this is, RCF track edition. So we're here with Michael from Lexus, the RCF track edition. Michael, what was the inspiration for this car? Well, we wanted to have a vehicle that you could uh, take to work, but also to the track, so that's where we uh, Great, so is it actually going to be produced, or is it still a concept? Or? It's actually a production model. Not at the end, we only have a spring 2020 RCF track edition. We've got a couple of tires that are, have a little bit more grip to them, allowing you to not only drive this to work, but to the track. Great, and have you had the plugger? Not yet, we just introduced this car a few weeks ago, but soon enough. Okay, do they have any idea of what the price point might be? Hard to say. RCF uh, starts at 64, 65,000. Okay. Obviously, this is limited edition, track edition. We're going to make about 60 in the first year, so pricing hasn't been announced. Any particular performance numbers, favorite? Absolutely, we got that V8 5 liter engine in. It's got 472 horsepower, 395 pound foot of torque. We're going to do 0 to 60 in 3.96 seconds. Right. And how does it stack up? Is it targeted against any particular competitive model? Well, I mean, it, it stacks up really well in the Lexus lineup. Like that okay, sounds great. Appreciate your time. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks, Mike. So unveiled a couple days ago here at the Chicago Auto Show, the brand new, now behind this car because we started filming, Range Rover Evoque. You may be thinking that's the new Evoque. It looks identical to the old Evoque, and you'd be correct. But anyway, Land Rover has this giant display here because there's about a half a dozen auto manufacturers that decided not to grace us with our presence here at the Chicago Auto Show. More on that later. So Land Rover, Range Rover has decided they're going to show you what their cars are capable of. How many people with a Range Rover do you know that are like, I'm going to take my Range Rover off-roading? None of them. You can, but you won't. 
you won't because it breaks enough on the streets that you're not going to risk making your $150,000 truck off-roading and seeing what happens. Put it on black. Maybe you'll win. You'll win a trip to the dealer. It's the most important part of the show, finding out that the beverage you want is sold out. We are back at the auto show. And, uh, got our star commentator here. He's out on the prowl again. So Too look, much talking, not look, enough drinking. Look, look for a, a full uh, a compilation video to be coming out soon. Great. So we're here in the Illinois State Police booth, uh, Illinois State Police slash State Police Heritage Foundation Memorial Park. Tell us a little bit about the Memorial Park. Sure, of course, of course. So um, the reason why we have the 2006 uh, Ford GT here, uh, it's a huge supporter of the Illinois State Police and the Heritage Foundation. Uh, he loaned the car, it's his personal car, to draw people in to ask questions about the Memorial Park. Um, the Memorial Park is in Springfield, um, and it is a um, basically to um, a memorabilia for all those fallen uh, troopers um, throughout, you know, the United or for, throughout the Illinois. So that's what it's for. Great, and I just realized that the Heritage Ford GT is here supporting the Heritage Foundation. Yes. Well done, Waylon. Wonderful. Well done. Thanks for loaning your car. Good, how are you? Um, okay. So we're here with Danielle. Danielle is not allowed to talk to the media about anything having to do with cars. So we're going to talk to Danielle about other things. How are you enjoying the auto show? I am enjoying the auto show great, but we definitely extend the order way to talk about the well, if Bill wants to spend some time with us, we'll make yeah, some room. If you want to schedule. sign up to test drive any vehicle at a dealership, I'm like $50. Like test drive that. Can I test drive that? Well, unfortunately, no, that is a half a million dollars, but um, it's not possible right now. <laughs> are, are you saying you don't think he would be able to afford it? Oh, no, anyone can afford it. <laughs> oh. This is America. You don't need well, to afford it, you just need a loan. Well, I couldn't afford it. All right, well, Ruben, you know, very Find first car all the way down there. Brent had no idea what he was talking about. No idea. Hi, how are you? No worries, can I have a 312 please? Sure. How are you enjoying your day at the auto show? You have a chance to walk around? Yeah, I do. I'm saying something about it. I ain't been all the time, but that's gonna come off. Okay, anything you have to have? Anything I have to have? Well, I like the, um, I think the Jeep is too many, so, and I like the planes. Very nice. You know, who I always, who don't like that, why Mercedes like that. Mercedes has a best. $10. You work at one of those? I do not. Oh, okay. They don't like it anymore. They don't like the best no more? Now we just walk around like everybody else. Thanks. That's okay. Sign. You know how you know when the show's starting to fall off a little bit, you're not getting the attendance numbers, you're not getting the brands that you once did? It's when you give the amount of space you would have for an entire manufacturer of automobiles and then make it a food court. Because if you look up there, that's a food court. Not even money for the carpeting. It seems like there's more food vendors at this show. Lots of food vendors. You have to fill the giant vacant gaping hole somehow. So a few years ago, Toyota debuted their FT1 concept car. It was earmarked to be the successor to the Toyota Supra. It was awesome. It looked the part, the specs, or whatever that they painted the picture of when it was a concept car were the real deal, everybody was excited. I was excited, more importantly, Ruben was excited. He used to own the Supra. And so, a couple years later, they take the concept car, they turn it into a piece of shit. And now, here's the new Toyota Supra. Also, everybody's complaining BMW doesn't have a car here at the 2019 Chicago Auto Show, but they do. This is a BMW Z4. It's an overpriced Toyota. 
not available in the manual transmission, and in no way is it really a pure sports car, but here it is, the new Supra. Starting already, I was going to open the doors. You know, like Coldplay, when the way you turn it off? Yeah. Ruben, you interrupted me. I was just playing checkers. Oh, uh, did you have the high score? Um, I'm one move into the game, but it was very important and you've interrupted me. Anyway, our readers have been writing in for years complaining about how we don't cover enough family vehicles. So this is the 2019 or 20 or who knows what, uh, Chrysler Pacifica. And um, the Pacifica used to be a weird crossover thing that was sort of a station wagon, but you couldn't call anything a station wagon. So. Now they've gotten rid of the rear crossover thing and they've done a proper minivan that used to be called the Town and Country, but it's now called the Pacifica. What's the difference? Nothing. But Pacifica apparently sounds better and you can play checkers in the back seat. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? How about now? I guess we're just going to have to imagine what Mercedes are like while we buy Audis and BMWs. So here we have legitimate, capable off-road vehicles that you might actually take off-road because you can afford it, they won't break on-road or off-road. And if you have the chance, this is actually pretty impressive. Scare your friends, scare your wife, it's good times over here at Should get, let's get some other opinions. Hey, Jeremy. Jason. Jason, nice to meet you. What do you think about the new Supra? Oh, I thought this was the Scion FRS. What's the difference? You tell me. I'm not sure. This one says Toyota. Well, this, oh, is it called the FRS? That I mean, one. I, is that the FRS? Wait, is I, that the new Supra? I, I think the black one's the new Supra. I think, well, I thought this, thought is just, called, this is an FRS with a body kit. That's what I, I thought called. it was called oh, the, the first. Kit. Or maybe it's the maybe maybe it's a, a Z4 with a body kit. Z4 I don't know. Miata. It's confusing. Is it that Fiat thing? The little Fiat that looks like a Miata with the body kit, but with a hard top. Hey guys, do you remember? Do you remember the movie Fast and the Furious? I do remember that movie. That was a cool movie. It was a cool movie. Yeah, you know that what that orange car, car that orange Supra? That was like a real Supra. I mean, they made it stupid and orange, but right. like, what is this? This will be in the next one, I'm sure. That, that was a 10 second car. car. This is like 15 a 10 and a second half. car hey. if you push it. Hey, you a cop? Definitely a cop. <laughs> so, new Ford GT500. Pretty upset that it's not available with the manual transmission. However, Ford has said that if there's enough consumer demand, they will consider it. So, take note, Toyota, listening to the customers. Manual transmission is a potential future option and a beautiful looking car. The new GT photo. I, re I really like the effects they did on the front. Yeah, they just, just did. And the carbon wheels. You gotta get the carbon wheels. 700 horsepower. Speaking of cars not available with a proper manual gearbox, the new Ford GT. The last one was great. This one I'm sure is also great, but you can't get a manual. Here it is in the Heritage Shrimp. We're here at the Mercedes booth at the 2019 Chicago Auto Show. This is the new SL, and that's the new x -Men. Ruben, should we drive to the Mercedes 
Mercedes has gone authentic. Back to their roots, the Black Forest region of Germany. 2019 Chicago Auto Show, Mercedes-Benz booth. Volkswagen, GMC, Mercedes. Oh, Mercedes is over here. Right here, this is the Mercedes booth. The 2019 Chicago Auto Show, with all the newest models. Oh, wait. 